Nowadays, having a PDF as your portfolio is not going to cut it. Now, don't get me wrong, depending on the company you're applying to, it might pass, and depending on the competition you're competing for that position, but developers who are branding themselves are going to have a huge advantage over developers who only have PDFs as their CVs. And what do I mean by branding themselves? Well, I mean creating your own website, putting your projects as a showcase on your own website, making them easily accessible, having your YouTube channel, doing devlogs, or having a blog and writing about your development and stuff like that, that I have been preaching on this channel for a long time, and especially in my Game Development Academy, where I have a separate section to discuss this with my students. Now, to show you the power of branding yourself, the other day I have received an email from a CEO of a company called Pixar Era, and I'm going to put that right here on the screen so you can see, and he is offering me a job interview with him. Now, as you can see in the email, he mentioned that he found my course is nice, but I checked he's not part of my game development academy, so he probably found my YouTube channel, my website, or my blog, but whatever the case might be, he is offering me a direct interview with him for the job position. And the best part is I, I didn't even ask for it. He found me, I didn't found him, I didn't know about this company, but he needs developers, which is the case now. There is a shortage of developers in almost every company and they are looking for people, but they are looking for people who are qualified. And the best way you can prove that you're qualified is with branding yourself and having a really cool brand portfolio, so to say. Now, a lot of people are asking me, what should I put and how will that look like? It doesn't have to be something fancy. It doesn't have to be something you know, futuristic. It's a simple website where you have your projects. And if you ask me, put your best projects. If you have 20 projects, choose five that are best ones and choose the ones who represent your coding so that you can showcase that you write clean code, assuming that you know all of these things. So this is all that I'm talking about is assuming that you know how to manage all of these things, that you know how to write a clean code, that you know design patterns and stuff like that. It's not like, you know, put some Flaffy Bird stuff. It's not going to cut it, okay? Put your code out there, especially on your blogs. If you have a blog and you're writing about it, showcase something, some feature of your game that you did where you wrote some unusual code that is not found easily online. And this is guaranteed that will get you at least at the job interview. And a lot of the times it will give you the job offer right away because let me be clear this is not the first time it happened to me that I received something like this so this is the first time I'm talking about it to show you the power of it but not the first time that I receive an offer and this happens often at least let's say once a month sometimes maybe more on average, I'm saying on average. Now, one thing that I did with this offer because I don't want it, I'm too busy with my own projects. I have replied to the CEO and I thanked him and I told him that I don't want the offer, but I will talk to some of my best students if they are interested in this offer. You can see that email over here. And again, he replied telling me that he would be glad to you know, talk with my best students if I'm also going to be present, which I accepted. So you can see that email right here. And this is also, this video is part of an announcement for that. So if you are a part of my Game Development Academy, send me your CV on developer at awesome2.com. You will find that email below, but you can find that email on my channel. It's easily accessible. Anyways, send me your CV and we'll take it off from there. And I will select two, three best candidates. And I will simply continue with that CEO talking about them and we will have that interview and he will pick the best ones. So make sure that you do that. And for those of you who want to have opportunities like this, make sure that you enroll in the Game Development Academy because I have a lot of courses there that you will not find anywhere online. I just published my Unreal Engine C++ and Blueprints Design Patterns, which is basically the first course ever that talks about clean code in C++ for Unreal Engine and Blueprints as well. I also have that for Unity and a bunch of other stuff that I'm currently working on. So make sure that you enroll before February because on February, I am going to double the prices. So hop on on this low prices, affordable prices, while well, you can, because it's a steal. Anyways, this is what I wanted to share with you, the power of branding and opportunities that await you in my Game Development Academy. So hit the like button, subscribe and all that stuff. Check out the links down below and I will see you guys in the next video.